Oh yeah, yeah. Hi guys, I'm Billy Mack and welcome to my garage. We talked about it before that we were going to do a trunnion upgrade on my rockers for my LS swap and that is today. So what you see here is a factory LS rock. Nothing special, nothing too bad about them. But one of the problems is the bearings. So what happens is inside the bearing, there is all these little needle bearings that when your rocker receives too much lift, which will be caused by a bigger cam, I mean, that's what we are going to be doing. We're going to be putting a bigger cam in. It can cause these to fail and shoot these needle bearings everywhere. So what we're doing today, this is it. Brian Tooley Racing Trunnion Kit for LS Rockers. So I did open it to take a peek. You have your your bolts, I guess, uh, with the hex heads on them. Your new inner bearings. Beautiful. Uh, I guess they just call them retainers. They're retainers. The outer bearings. To place the bearings in and your C clips to lock them in place. So, what these bearings will do is they will make sure that if they fail, they're not shooting needle bearings everywhere. So, this is a great kit from Brian Tooley. Inside the kit, it comes with instructions, which is absolutely phenomenal instructions. I mean, it's a pretty simple ordeal, anyhow, but. If you can't follow these instructions, then I don't think you should be working on the car. So what the plan is, is we're going to take these stock bearings out today and we're going to put in the new bearings, which, you know, is pretty easy. I did one already just to make sure that I had the equipment required, which is pretty simple. This is one with the bearings already removed. My equipment for today, socket and a 13 mil socket to push it through. Unfortunately, my vise is too small, so I'm using two nuts. These nuts? Ha! Got it! Got it! To push through the bearing. All right, so first things first, we have your stock rocker here. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Nothing special about it. On this side, you have two lips, and that's to place the socket over so it doesn't interfere with the actual bearing when you're pushing it out. And on this side, we are going to use the two nuts. So first things first, we set it in here. It would be so much easier if I had a press, but I don't. So to all my uh, redneck friends out there, this is how we do it. All right. So now we just tighten the vise. Ready to catch it so it doesn't shoot everywhere. Yeah. Seems a lot easier on the YouTube there than what he got going on, huh? Damn, there you go. <clears throat> We're gonna move those bolts, nuts out of the way, sorry, pull off the socket. Bearings out, and the second bearing can slide out the top. And there you have it. So now all we have is a hell of a lot more to go. Here's your first set of eight completed. Ready to be cleaned up. They are clean a little bit, fairly clean actually. Eight more to go. Here we go. Go down to the last one. in place. Just 
Not it. Keep my hand there, so there she goes. I can get you. There's one piece. As you can see, they're all cleared out. So what we're going to do when we assemble them, we're gonna use a little bit of oil, lube up where the bearings go, and see if we can put these together. So here's the first roller that we're gonna put in. There is writing on this side and none on the other. So you're always gonna face this side out. So we need a little bit of oil. Here's some of my four stroke. Oh, Take some oil, get it lubed up. Lube makes everything about sex better. On the inside. Now, first things first, we're gonna make sure, like I said, the writing is on the outside. Make sure that it's nice and square. So you wanna set it in clean. Don't be afraid to pick up things that you drop Idiot. and clean them off because you want the uh, surfaces to be, no. you don't want any friction inside. There we go. The idea is to uh, Push that bearing in. That it's flush. It looks flush to me. Oh, the lie detector determined that was a lie. There you have it. One is pressed on. Now, step two, you're gonna take your intersection, intersection. Place it in, like so, and you're gonna grab another bearing. Now you're gonna slide the other bearing over on the other side. Again, make sure it's flush. And there you have it. So that's step one. Well, not step one. Whatever step we're on, that's what we're at. So, 15 more to go. That part is all done, all 16. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna throw the retainers on them, which is really quite easy. They just sit on there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The second to last part, hopefully this works because this is the only C-clamps that I have. This part goes on, C-clamp squeezes. Simple ass C clamps are these. Definitely not big enough. Let me see what else I got. Canadian motherfucker buy new orange motherfucker for two ninety nine. Boys, That's whack, boys, 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 boys. Come All on. right, I'm back with some new snap ring pliers. Seem to work a lot better. So again, the retainer goes on. You then get your snap ring with the pliers. Easy so far. And you 
spread them apart and hopefully they push on. Number one, done. 15 more to go. All right, so it's our last one container. See clip, not focusing. Second retainer. Second C-clip. All right, as you can see, I am uh, putting these together again because there was a few of them that were pretty tight and sticky. So what I realized was I did not press in the bearings far enough. So I took the C-clips off the bearings and now they're spinning nice and free. One left. So you see this one here? Doesn't really turn too easy. Won't turn with just my thumb. These ones here, turn real easy. So what I am doing, just a heads up for you guys, if you guys are doing it, to make sure that the uh, bearings are seated right. Pulling the uh, C-clip back off, and you can see that this is not completely, the bearing's not completely flush with the uh, with the actual rocker. So press it back in now. It's flush with the, the actual rocker. Reset the retainer. Place the, the C-clip, make sure it's not sitting up anywhere, which it's not. Beautiful. Now you can see how easy it turns. That is your Trunnion upgrade from Brian Tooley Racing. BTR, these are the, uh, the new hex, hex bolts that will be holding them into the engine, into the heads. And for now, I'm going to set them in there to soak with the lifters in the oil till we reassemble. Everything's covered in there. Good to go till reassembly. Reassembly hopefully will happen soon. The head's gotta go, get milled, get cleaned up a bit, and then. And then. I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna put my foot in your ass if you say and then again. I'm gonna try to reassemble them. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm sure it will. Ooh, that's spooky. <laughs> Ah, uh, so that is my Brian Tooley Racing Trunnion kit installed for the very first time. Never done it before. Very easy, a little bit of time consuming because I didn't have the right equipment. Uh, that vise didn't open enough, so I couldn't use the sockets. I don't have the, uh, the Trunnion tool that you can buy. I will put the link in the description for this kit as well as the tool to uh, remove it. So that's it for now, guys. Time to get things cleaned up. I hope you guys are ready for winter builds and uh, I can't wait to get this engine put back together. So for now guys, take care, like and subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that, but like and subscribe. I'm Billy Mack and welcome to my garage.